Let's talk about growing your YouTube channel. Are you posting cover videos? Because, I mean, there is a lot of advice out there telling you to do that, but maybe you're not seeing the results that you had expected. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to figure out what songs are going to be worth your time to cover, first figuring out how to spot the ones that aren't. Welcome to my channel, I'm Katherine Forbes, a Squarespace website designer for musicians, obsessed with helping others make an impact online through music. So if that's what you're trying to do, hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell, and let's dive in. 2020 has been a hard year for musicians, and really the music business as a whole. It's totally changed the way that we consume and share music. And because of that, I've been doing a lot of research to better help you pivot so that you can continue growing and sharing with your audience online. I'm gonna share my screen with you and pull back the curtain on what it really means to share cover videos on YouTube and answer the question for you of does it really help you grow your fan base? I've got a couple tabs pulled up here to give you some examples of why these cover song videos aren't necessarily working the way you thought or you expected. So first I have Taylor Swift pulled up here and for her specific Cardigan song, the new song, at least new as the time I'm recording this. So you might think, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and record a cover of this new popular song and I will get all the search results from that because people are searching for this song. Which yes makes sense, but let me show you why that might not necessarily work for you. When I type in Taylor Swift cardigan cover, which is most likely what you are going to name that video because as you can see, that's what everybody else is naming their video. You can see I've got a couple plugins installed here. Um, one is called vidIQ and the other is TubeBuddy, which I will show you here and link to in the description if you wanna download these as well. But it allows me to see just at a glance how many subscribers the channels of these videos have, and then we're also gonna look into the keyword itself. So you can see here, if you are gonna do a Taylor Swift cardigan cover video, these are the results that you're gonna be competing with. You can see the top one has 622,000 subscribers on her channel. So if you are thinking about this as a way to grow on YouTube, this is not the best strategy because you're putting yourself into competition with people who already have really established channels. The next one, 276,000 subscribers. Then we have the real Taylor Swift video. Um, this girl, she, I mean, she broke through with this cover here. She's got only 1.67 thousand subscribers, which is still great, but compared to everybody else here in this pool, 81,000, 11.2 thousand subscribers. So you're putting yourself in this really tough competition and you might not even have known that. Now I want to go over to, I have Adele rolling in the deep cover pulled up as well. Again, same thing. You can see the people that are actually ranking for this have so many subscribers already. 172,000 subscribers, 357,000. This girl has 3 million subscribers, 16 million subscribers. So let's, this time let's click into this search explorer to do the keyword explorer and really get a good look at what we're dealing with here. So you might see this overall score and it says there's a decent amount of competition but this keyword is searched so often it's worth targeting. When I first downloaded this plugin I went through and found all of the green keywords, <laughs> the very good and the excellent keywords that I could and I was like this is my strategy, this is gonna be it. But actually the more I've gotten into it and now that I see results I realize that just because it's green doesn't necessarily mean it's good for people who are just starting out on their channel or just starting out as a music your music career. So for me, my YouTube channel is currently sitting around 500 subscribers. So for me, this isn't necessarily going to be a good way for me to get seen even though it says very good and I'll show you why. So like this says, the search volume is high. It's it's high as it can get. Um, the competition, though, it's it's rating it pretty low. That means it's going to be hard. It's got a lot of competition. Optimization strength is good. But this is where you really want to check out. So number of videos and search results. 10.3 million videos. So if you decide to do a Rolling in the Deep cover song, you're trying to take advantage of YouTube being a search platform, 
and you know people are searching for this song because it's popular, well, there's already 10.3 million videos out there in this search result. So this is not going to help you get seen if you are new and just trying to get your channel going. Even though this says very good, it's going to be very hard for you to get recognized by YouTube and the algorithm because there are so many other people who are at a higher level with more authority on YouTube than you. Does that make sense? Okay, I have one more pulled up. But first, I want to hear what your most popular cover video here on YouTube has been so far. Leave me a link down below in the comments and then after this video is over, go find two others in the comments, go to their videos, give them a like, leave them a comment. I mean, the least we can do here is help support each other, right? The Jolene Dolly Parton cover, just because when I thought of cover songs, this one came to mind because everyone seems to do it. So again, you can even see Miley Cyrus is ranking up here at the top. So if you would like to compete with Miley Cyrus, be my guest. But I hope this is kind of showing you now that doing cover songs works sometimes, but it's not going to work all the time. And if you are targeting these songs that are very popular by a very popular artist, it's going to be even harder. You can see here the searches, it shows us on this one. I'm not really sure why sometimes it shows searches per month and sometimes it doesn't. This time it shows us 770 per month. So it's really, people aren't really searching for it. And we look into this keyword explorer and it's giving it a fair score. You can see the number of videos in search results is 1.28 million. So again, if you do your Jolene video cover and you put it up on YouTube, you're going to be competing with over a million other people who have done the same thing. And to be ranked up at the top, you're going to be competing with these people who have a lot of subscribers. So if you would like to do covers or if you are doing covers but you're not seeing results and you're wondering why, maybe this was an eye opener for you, I hope. And I hope it will help you give you a strategy for moving forward. So if you download this TubeBuddy tool, I'll give you the link here and I'll also put it in the description so you can click on it. You can download this and just go to town on searching your video titles and see which one might be the best for you to do. I will tell you that the TubeBuddy, the free version does have a limit on how many searches you can do per day, but I upgraded for $4.50 a month and I can just search all day <laughs> and I do search all day. Hopefully this is all making sense for you now. Cover videos have the potential of being really helpful for your growth here on YouTube, but only if you do your research beforehand. If you're feeling extra into analytics and SEO right now, I have a mini course to help guide you through exactly how to get the SEO ranking of your Squarespace website up. You can find it at designingtheroad.com slash SEO. And when you sign up, you will get instant access to all the tutorial videos inside. If you haven't already, hit that like button down below to let me know if you would like to see more YouTube strategy, YouTube growth videos from me in the future, and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all the things, and I will see you next time. For more music-related YouTube advice, I will leave my last video right here for you.